Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install the Ring Video Doorbell Pro 2. So this is the latest iteration of the Ring Pro Doorbell that just came out in 2021. It is also the most expensive doorbell in the Ring lineup. So we're gonna get started installing this Ring Pro 2, and the first thing that we need to do is turn the power off at the circuit breaker to our existing doorbell so that we can work on this. So we're gonna go down, turn off the power at the circuit breaker. Now we're down at the circuit breaker, so we're gonna go ahead and turn off the circuit breaker and the power to the doorbell. Now that we've got the power off at the circuit breaker, we wanna confirm that the power is off, so go ahead and press the doorbell. If you don't hear a ring, that should mean that the power is off if your doorbell was working properly beforehand. It's also a good idea if you have one to use a non-contact voltage meter go ahead and check to make sure there's no power. So there is no power on this doorbell. So now we're just gonna remove it by removing these two screws. Now that we've got the screws removed that we're holding the doorbell in place, we can go ahead and pull the doorbell forward to expose the wiring. All we're gonna do now is remove the wires from the terminals on each side of the doorbell. Just loosen it up and pull the wire free. Now we're ready to go ahead and wire up the Ring Pro 2 video doorbell to the existing wiring. So on the back, you've got two terminals here and you're just gonna wire one wire to each of the terminals on the back side of the Ring Pro 2. Now Ring also gives you some extra hardware and wire extensions if you need to extend your existing doorbell wire or maybe you need something that's lower profile than a typical wire connection. These have a flat forked connection in the hardware that Ring provides, but we're just gonna use the existing terminals. Now, before we go wiring that up, we're gonna go ahead and we're also going to take the faceplate off the Ring. So what I'd like to do for this is press in the middle of the device while holding the edges, and that's going to allow you then to peel off the faceplate. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wire each one of these wires up to the terminals on the back of the Ring Pro 2. Now you can see on the back of the Ring Pro 2 that this doorbell requires between 16 and 24 volts from your doorbell transformer. So if you don't know what your existing transformer voltage is, you can go ahead and test it. We've got another video in the description below that shows you how to test your existing doorbell voltage. Now I know that I have enough voltage, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect this. Now that we've got the doorbell wired up, we can go ahead and put it into position on the door frame. So I'm gonna slowly put the wires kind of back into the door here, make sure they're securely connected to the ring doorbell, and then I'm just gonna position this how I want it on my door frame. Then I'm gonna take my two screws and I'm gonna put a screw in the top here and a screw in the bottom. Now we check to make sure that the doorbell is aligned properly and that it's level and we go ahead and install the bottom screw. Now we're all set out here for now. We're gonna go inside to the doorbell chime. Now we're inside at the doorbell chime. So all we're gonna do is remove the chime cover and that's going to expose the doorbell chime. Now what we're going to do is loosen these two terminals up that have wires going to them. So we have the trans wire going to the trans terminal and the front door wire going to the front door terminal. We're gonna loosen those up and then we install this ring power adapter in between these two terminals. So we're just gonna loosen that up, leave the wires on there that are already on there on the front and the trans terminal. And then we just slide this in place and then we're going to go ahead and secure those down. So we're gonna slide one onto the trans terminal and we're gonna slide the other wire from the power adapter onto the front door terminal. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now you can see we've got the Ring Pro 2 power adapter installed and we've got one wire from the power adapter going to the trans terminal and the other wire from the power adapter going to the front terminal. Now all we're gonna do is go ahead and re-secure the screws on those terminals. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. You have to manage to fit this ring power adapter inside the doorbell chime cover without obstructing the chimes on the top or the bottom 
that aren't used to make the sound. So there is a little bit of an adhesive strip on the back here. You can use that to press it down. But before you get that adhesive strip ready, just make sure that you can get it to fit inside your chime cover. So we're gonna go ahead and see how it works. This one has a little bit of extra space. And if you can't get it in the chime cover, what you can always do is put it on the top of the chime cover because in most instances, you won't be able to see that little power adapter at the top of the chime box because it's typically elevated high enough that most people won't see the top of this. Now that we have the power adapter installed at the Chime and we have our Ring Pro 2 doorbell installed outside, we can go ahead and restore the power back at the circuit breaker. So we're gonna flip that circuit breaker back on. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip the power back on at the circuit breaker that we turned off. Welcome to Ring, the world's most advanced doorbell. Follow the instructions in the Ring app to continue. Now the doorbell is powered up, you can see the light ring on here, and we're just gonna go ahead and set it up on the Ring app. So you need to have the Ring app installed, you have to have a username and password, we've already done that. So now we're gonna go up here and we're gonna click on the menu button at the top of the Ring app. Now we're gonna click on set up a device right here. Now we need to choose the device that we're going to set up, so we're setting up a doorbell, the top option right there. Now it says scan the code on your Ring device, now for this device, the QR code is right here on the side underneath the cover that we took off, but you can also find that QR code on the ring packaging. Now we need to choose the location we would like to set our video doorbell up at. So let's go ahead and click continue. Now we need to choose a name for the ring device. I'm gonna go ahead and click custom and just enter a name here. Now I'm gonna click continue. Our video doorbell has been installed, so I'm going to click it's been installed. Yes, we did install the power kit, so I'm going to click that top option right there. It says, what type of bell does your existing doorbell have? We have a mechanical chime, but if you have a doorbell that is digital, that means that it has a speaker. So I'm going to click mechanical. Now the Ring app tells us that we can choose different face plates. I'm going to click got it. Yes, the light is currently spinning, so I'm going to click the top option. It says tap connect on the following screen. So we're gonna click got it. Now we're going to choose our ring doorbell and wait for it to connect. Ring doorbell is connected to the ring app. Now we're going to choose the Wi-Fi network that we're going to connect to. Enter your password. Now click continue. Ring doorbell is connecting to the internet. Just a moment, Rome wasn't built in a day. Your Ring doorbell is ready to go. With Ring, you're always home. Now it tells us about Ring snapshots. I'm gonna click got it. Our Ring Video Doorbell Pro 2 is now set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. Now I'm going to click continue. It says invite shared users. I'm gonna skip this for now. Now you can add linked devices, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip this for now. It says, let's make motion work for you. We can optimize the motion detection for our home. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this now, and I'm gonna go ahead and click I'm done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Ring doorbell. It says the Ring Pro 2 is currently updating, so it might take up to 15 minutes. Well, let's come back in 15 minutes and see what we've got going on. While we're waiting for the update, we can go ahead and slide the cover on. Just push that onto the device. And then all we need to do is go ahead and install that security screw that holds the cover plate in place on the ring doorbell. Now we just gotta wait for the update to complete. All right, so the update completed and now our video doorbell is connected. Now this has higher resolution than any other ring doorbell that I have ever used or experienced. I think it has a 1530 HD. A typical HD doorbell has 1080 HD. But the biggest difference is that this video doorbell actually shows the entire height. So all the way from the top down to the bottom, you can see my shoes right now, and I'm only a foot or two away. So with this new Ring Pro 2, the biggest difference I've noticed is the resolution is better 
And further away, if I'm not standing right in front of the doorbell, you can see that there is good resolution, as well as the wide angle picture of the actual video doorbell is pretty crazy that you can see my feet here, even though I'm less than 18 inches or so away from this doorbell. So that's pretty crazy in itself. Now this has advanced motion detection. And supposedly it even has a 3D bird's eye view that you can use on the device, but I haven't really investigated that feature too much yet. So thank you for watching this video on how to install the Ring Pro 2 doorbell. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any of the links below if you want to support us. Thank you.